everybody. My name is Coach Shane, and welcome to Easy English Expressions. You and me every day. Come on, let's master English. Hello, everybody. Thanks a lot for downloading daily Easy English Expressions. My new podcast. Can I still say new? It's number four, and well, we have a long way to go. So I promise this podcast will be around for a long time. And I have to thank our sponsors. Today's sponsor is DDM Daily Dictation Members. It's an online class that teaches you American pronunciation, listening skills, speaking. And American culture. Try eight DDM lessons for free. Go to www.letsmasterenglish.com/slash/try-ddm and get those lessons. I'm the teacher, by the way. I'm the coach, and yes, it's free. That's a big value right now in 2014. That's thirty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents for free. Enjoy it and learn something. Okay, today's expression is "I slept in." I slept in. So we have a phrasal verb to sleep in. I n. That's it. To sleep in. It's an easy expression, and what it means is you slept without using an alarm clock. Usually, you wake up at six o'clock or seven o'clock in the morning, but today you woke up at nine o'clock, ten o'clock, maybe even lunchtime. Now these days, to be honest, I go to bed early, maybe ten or eleven p.m., and I usually wake up at six a.m. naturally. But sometimes when I'm feeling tired or You know, feeling lazy. I sleep in. I sleep until nine o'clock. Oh, sleeping in sometimes is so wonderful. How about you? On the weekends, do you sleep in until what time? If you have a day off from work or a day off from school, do you sleep in, or do you still wake up early? Let me know. Leave a message. You can leave messages. On Twitter and Facebook, that's the best place to leave a message to this podcast. So I've got a dialogue. Let's check it out. You look refreshed. Yes, I slept in. I woke up at ten. Oh, I wish I could. I've got kids. Oh, that's why I'll never marry. <laughs> okay, so the first sentence: You look refreshed. So somebody who looks refreshed, they look fresh. They look full of energy, very awake, very healthy. So the guy says, "You look refreshed," and the other guy says, "Yes, I slept in. I woke up at ten. Oh boy, that's nice." And the other guy says, "I wish I could." Now remember, when we say "wish," I wish something. The chances of it coming true are very low. If we say hope, then the chances are actually a little bit higher. So this guy says, "I wish I could. I wish I could sleep in, but he can't. Why not?" He explains, "I've got kids. I have children." So this guy might be married, but he's got some children, and I know many of you have children, and children are always up very early in the morning. Not teenage children, teenage kids—they sleep in, but the young kids, oh, they're up in the morning asking for breakfast, playing the Nintendo, and watching TV. It's too loud. It's impossible to sleep in. If you have children, so the last guy says, "That's why I'll never marry." Wah, 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 wah. Ah, yeah. I think pretty much everybody eventually gets married, and.
and has children and can no longer sleep in. So once again, do you sleep in? On what days do you sleep in? And until what time do you sleep in? Let's listen to the conversation two more times. You look refreshed. Yes, I slept in. I woke up at 10. Oh, I wish I could. I've got kids. Oh, that's why I'll never marry. You look refreshed. Yes, I slept in. I woke up at 10. Oh, I wish I could. I've got kids. Oh, that's why I'll never marry. Thanks again for downloading my podcast. And if you like it, please leave a rating on iTunes. Now, this is actually day four of the podcast, and I still can't find this podcast on iTunes. But hopefully it will be there soon. And when it's there, if you leave a rating If you leave a comment, it will help other people find our podcast. So please do me a favor and uh, leave a rating. And also, if you're really interested in perfecting your pronunciation, American pronunciation, listening skills, speaking, and if you want to learn more about American culture, try 8 DDM lessons for free. Those are my premium classes, online classes, Go to www.letsmasterenglish.com slash try DDM. Thanks a lot, you guys, and let's master English!